The New York Jets are probably the worst team in football right now, and Zach Wilson is struggling, given that he's been pressured on 50% of his dropbacks and hit or sacked on 29.3% of his dropbacks, both lead the league. This is also a team that cannot move the ball. Only 20% of passing plays have resulted in first downs, the league average being 34.8. I mean, it is embarrassing how bad the Jets have been playing football. But are the Denver Broncos walking into a week three buzzsaw? Is this a trap game? It really looks like it. The Denver Broncos have started the season off with back-to-back double-digit wins, a feat they have not accomplished since 2013. And double-digit wins back-to-back are hard for any team to get done, yet alone a third double-digit win. And this is a 10.5-point spread. I obviously don't expect the Broncos to lose this game. I mean, they're playing the New York Jets, the worst team in football right now. But... Double-digit wins, three weeks in a row, even in an easy game. Listen, sometimes trap games happen. Sometimes a quarterback blows an assignment. Next thing you know, you have a Jets receiver going for an 80-yard touchdown. I wouldn't confidently bet the Broncos to cover this line. If anything, juice up the Jets, bet on a trap game.